Gemini, welcome. I want to take this time at the beginning of the video to wish you a very merry Christmas or holiday season or however you celebrate this season. And for those of you that may not, I wish you the best anyway and hope that your hopes and desires do come true. That said, Gemini, we're going to do a general read. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. Keep in mind, what you may need to be aware of could actually be something that's really a good thing. That said, Gemini, let's get started and see what's going on for you this week. Ace of Swords. So somebody is successful in figuring out the things that they want to do. The outcome, or sorry, your desires is the Three of Wands. So somebody that's taking action to follow their own path. And then we have the Empress that shows up for you. And the Empress uh, can definitely look like this card, which is sort of motherhood. Um, but at the same time, there is a lot of potential or possibly even marriage here with bringing something new into existence. We have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is what's helping you. So things that are finally starting to move, communication that's coming through, um, inspiration, that type of thing. And what you need to be aware of is the Five of Cups. So somebody that is... Um, that energy of like, oh, do we have to go through this again? Uh, a lot of disappointment. Uh, be aware of that. That said, let's go through this, Gemini, and figure out what is going on for you. So let's clarify. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. And to me, this looks like you're beginning a sweet life with somebody, or you're in that er um, <clears throat> energy of contemplating how this is going to work, and you're putting that effort forward. The Hierophant is usually my sort of marriage card, uh, somebody that is, depending on the deck that I'm using, but this one is somebody that's helping you reach a higher power, and so you can see that you're sort of in that sort of start of some type of relationship. Now, why is the Three of Wands here? This is your desires. Clarify the Three of Wands, please. Temperance, Eight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So you can see that there's a path that you want to follow with this particular individual. There is patience and healing in walking away from the path that you were following before. And this new path leads to one of much more happiness. And the outcome being the Empress, so it's almost like you've gone through this sort of relationship where you're considering sort of that marriage type of thing, finding that path, being on it, and then moving up right into sort of marriage and motherhood. So why is the Empress here? Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. One of the other things that I wanted to pull out, we have the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Empress is a three as well. We've also had eight, eight, and eight show up. And right now we have two, two, and two. Uh, this is really kind of interesting uh, to see sort of this many sort of synchronicities. Uh, it seems like I'm not big into numerology, uh, but I would suggest that you maybe have a look at the significance of those so the Empress is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So as you're balancing sort of 
what's going on with you and this partnership you know the path that you want to take and you're both sort of walking it uh, this knight of pentacles energy is just sort of slow and steady and it keeps going and the eight of wands shows up and that's what's working for you so why is the eight of wands here queen of pentacles page of pentacles and the eight of swords so the information that you've wanted for so long and have things move is <clears throat> this queen of pentacles energy knowing that you're secure and safe in what you're doing and creating an understanding like a very beginning understanding of the things that you want but you also have this eight of swords and this is the fourth eight that shows up for you uh, where you're sort of stuck in your head of you're sort of in a prison of your own making is kind of how I want to put it uh, why is the five of cups here four of wands the sun and the nine of wands I almost get the feeling that with this be aware that of those feelings of sort of like oh do I have to go through this again um, I almost get the feeling that this is a new relationship and you're not really sure if you're I kind of get the feeling that maybe your heart's not in it because you've been in relationships before and it hasn't worked out um, because you're looking at planning the future rather than enjoying the present we have the four of wands the sun and the nine of wands so you know what you want you want the stability of the four of wands and there's a lot of happiness to be had here but it just seems like it's a lot of work um, one of the advice that I had always give, been given from my parents was anything that's a lot of work is something that's worth doing um, it makes the reward that much sweeter I want to pull three more cards for you Gemini around this The world, the Six of Pentacles, and the Chariot shows up. And I get the feeling that success is coming. Success is all around you. And it gives you the ability to share. To share your knowledge, to share your um, wealth, and just share overall with this particular individual that is coming quickly into your life possibly um, at the same time even with the chariot here and the eight of wands things are moving quickly but with the chariot there is still an effort that needs to be applied it's not just a ride you're on there needs to be a direction and you're the one that gets to specify that Gemini that is what I have for you today thank you for being here Best of luck with this week, and again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, or however else you guys celebrate. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.